welcome to a special edition of Info Hub after a historic announcement by the United Nations today, January 30, 2018. The United Nations earlier this afternoon issued a statement on behalf of the Secretary General Antonio Guterres on the border controversy between Ghana and Venezuela. The long-standing controversy arose as a result of the Venezuelan contention that the arbitral award of 1899 was null and void. Former Secretary General Ban Ki-moon communicated to the parties on the 15th of December 2016 a framework for the resolution of the border controversy based on his conclusions on what could constitute the most appropriate next steps. He concluded that the good offices process, which had been conducted since 1990, would continue for one final year, until the end of 2017 with a strengthened mandate of mediation. He also reached the conclusion that if, by the end of 2017, his successor, Secretary General Antonio Guterres, concluded that significant progress had not been made towards arriving at a full agreement for the solution of the controversy, he would choose the International Court of Justice as the next means of settlement. Today, President David Granger addressed the nation. Guyanese, I'm happy to inform the nation that I've been advised that the Secretary General of the United Nations, His Excellency Antonio Guterres, has decided to refer the controversy arising out of the claim by the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela to the territory of the Cooperative Republic of Ghana to the International Court of Justice. Ghana welcomes this decision. Ghana's position has always been that the basis of the controversy was a legal question which should be resolved peacefully and conclusively through a legal process. Ghana remains confident in the correctness of its case. Ghana looks forward to the reaffirmation of the validity of the 1899 Arbitral Award before the International Court of Justice. The controversy arose out of the Venezuelan contention that the Arbitral Award was null and void. Ghana will take all the necessary steps to ensure that its national patrimony will be protected for all time. Ghana remains committed to the peaceful settlement of disputes, respect for international agreements and treaties, and to maintaining friendly relations with its neighbors. Ghana will pursue the path ahead in furtherance of the preservation of its sovereignty and territorial integrity, with quiet confidence and with the assurance in ever improving relations with its neighbors, Brazil, Suriname, and Venezuela. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs released a statement following the decision. This is as follows. Ghana welcomes the decision of the Secretary General of the United Nations to refer the controversy between Ghana and Venezuela to the International Court of Justice, ICJ. Ghana has always held the view that the ICJ is the appropriate forum for the peaceful and definitive settlement of the controversy and is pleased that that view has prevailed under the process developed by both Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Ghana will not allow factors extraneous to the controversy to influence its referral to the court, but it will continue the advancement of peaceful relations with Venezuela, whose people are the brothers and sisters of Guyanese. In this context, Ghana acknowledges the Secretary General's suggestions for the immediate future. That Ghana has stood firm against Venezuela's attempt to reopen a territorial boundary settled and recognized for half a century before its independence and done so despite the manifest unequal strengths between the two countries is to our national credit. Ghana, as one of the world's small developing countries, is pleased that its reliance on the rule of law internationally has been the underpinning of its national sovereignty. The Ghana-Venezuela border controversy began during the second half of the 19th century between Venezuela and Great Britain over the location of the border between its colony, British Guiana, and the Spanish-speaking country. Here is a historical perspective. The controversy continued until an arbitral tribunal was empaneled in 1897 to determine the borders and issued an arbitral award on October 3, 1899. Following this, a joint commission with representatives from both countries delineated the borders in 1905. For half a century, Venezuela honored its agreement in word and deed. In 1931, a boundary commission made up of representatives from Great Britain, Venezuela and Brazil agreed on a specific point on Mount Roraima, where the boundaries of British Guyana, Venezuela and Brazil meet. A concrete marker was erected thereafter. The matter was permanently settled. 
Venezuela in 1962, then unilaterally and without any basis or evidence, announced that it regarded the award of 1899 as null and void. In February 1966, the governments of British Guyana, Great Britain and Venezuela signed in Geneva an agreement by which a bilateral commission was appointed to seek satisfactory solutions for the practical settlement of the controversy. In 1982, both Guyana and Venezuela requested the United Nations Secretary General to decide on a method to bring about resolution to the controversy. The then Secretary General Javier Pérez de Quer chose the Good Offices process in 1990. The UN Good Offices process was declared exhausted by Guyana. Venezuela has consistently embarked on a pattern of subversion, threats and intimidation. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro in May 2015 issued a decree number 1787, laying an illegal claim to almost all of Guyana's maritime zone. The government of Guyana strongly denounced this decree, calling it a flagrant violation of international law and inconsistent with the principle that all states should respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of other states. On December 15, 2016, the former UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon informed the presidents of Guyana and Venezuela of his decision on the Article 4.2 of the 1966 Geneva Agreement as to the means of settlement of the controversy between Guyana and Venezuela. Secretary General Ban informed that the good offices process will continue for one final year until December 31, 2017 with a strengthened mandate of mediation. If by the end of 2017 Secretary General Antonio Guterres concluded that significant progress was not made toward arriving at a full agreement for resolution of the issue, he will then refer the matter to the International Court of Justice for juridical settlement. In February 2017, United Nations Secretary General Guterres named Norwegian lawyer and diplomat Dag Nylander as good officer to Georgetown and Caracas. President David Granger met the UN good officer in April 2017. On January 30, 2018, UN Secretary General Guterres referred the matter to the International Court of Justice for juridical settlement. Stacey Carmichael for InfoHub. You are watching a special edition of InfoHub after a historic announcement by the United Nations today, January 30, 2018. Thank you for watching. <laughs>